The acronym is actually BACC, B -A -C -C. that stands for Biomarkers in Acute Cardiovascular Care. We want to diagnose or exclude acute myocardial infarction in patients presenting with acute chest pain at the emergency room. We wanted to do that as fast as clinically possible. Last EC guidelines asked us to wait for three hours before taking the second troponin I value and we lowered that value to one hour approach. We had two key questions. First, is a one hour approach as safe as a three hour approach? Do we really need to wait for three hours before diagnosing or excluding myocardial infarction? And second, is a lower, more sensitive cutoff probably better compared to the 99th percentile of a specific assay as rule out cutoff? We therefore investigated 1,045 patients coming to our emergency room presenting with acute chest pain suggestive of myocardial infarction. Clinically, we measured troponin T directly at admission and after three hours, as recommended by the EC, and integrating clinical judgment, imaging, and ECG, we met the final diagnosis and STEMI. As a study design, we measured troponin I directly at admission and already after one hour to compare the one hour and three hours approach. First, a one-hour approach was as safe as a three-hour approach. We don't have to wait for three hours before diagnosing or excluding acute myocardial infarction. Our data was very clear in that. Second, the lower, more sensitive cutoff that was six nanograms per liter in that specific air, uh, assay performed way better than the 99th percentile. And that resulted in higher negative predicted value, so better chance to really rule out myocardial infarction. And it also resulted in lower follow-up mortality when, when we applied that new and more sensitive cutoff. We can actually rule out myocardial infarction faster. We don't have to wait for three hours. That's beneficial for the patient and it limits the overuse of scarce medical resources at the emergency rooms worldwide. It might also um, save costs and it is as safe as waiting for three hours. When we looked for the more sensitive cutoff that we identified, it was also safer than the 99th percentile. We had less follow-up mortality and better negative predictive value with our low cutoff. So just wait for one hour, measure troponin I and look for those more sensitive cutoffs. But please look for the specific assay you use at your hospital because that values cannot be translated from one assay to another. There must be a specific study to document that for all troponin assays.